So this is the table of Harrison. And uh, in this, as you can see, that the rheumatic fever without carditis. For this particular one, you see the time of the medication of this penicillin as prophylaxis. For 5 years after the last attack or 21 years of age, whichever is longer. So that is the time period for the rheumatic fever without carditis. Now the rheumatic fever with carditis but no residual valvular disease. For that what it is? 10 years after the last attack and this particular thing is or actually. So 10 years of after the last attack or 21 years of age, whichever is longer. Okay. Previously it was 5 years and 21 years and now it is 10 and 21. But the change is rheumatic fever is with what? Carditis. Besides that, the rheumatic fever with persistent valvular disease evident clinically or on echocardiography means you have gone for echo. In that also it's evident that there is a persistent valvular disease. For this, you need for 10 years after the last attack, this is okay. Or 40 years of age, whichever is longer. Sometimes lifelong prophylaxis is needed in this particular case to be very precise. Okay. So without carditis, it is up to 5 years after the last attack or 21 years of age. For rheumatic fever with carditis, 10 years after the last attack or 21 years of age, rheumatic fever with persistent valvular disease evident clinically or on echocardiography, it is again 10 years after the last attack or 40 years of age, whichever is longer, sometimes lifelong prophylaxis. So this is like, uh, because on this the question came, so that's why I like to tell up here itself that uh, without carditis, this much, with carditis, this much, a persistent valvular disease, this much. Is it fine? So now coming back to the streptococcus, talking now regarding the GBS, okay? And uh, you know GBS stands for what guys? Group B strepto. It stands for what? Group B strepto. And the other name is what? Streptococcus agalexia or agalectia. Now, first of all, what you need to know regarding this particular bacteria, it's a normal commensal, okay? It's a normal commensal of birth canal. Not in every female, but in some. Okay. And while child is passing through this birth canal, acquires the infection of this particular bacteria and lands up with what? Either the early or late neonatal meningitis. Okay. 